Hello gamers, hello geeks, and hello gays. Welcome to the Outer Wilds. And in advance, I'm sorry. This episode isn't going to be the world's happiest. It's not going to be the world's saddest, maybe. But today is a very special day. And I would be a fool if I didn't try and commemorate that in some way. So today is going to be a Smell the Pines episode. Um, it was Smell the Roses. We swapped to Smell the Pines because it's more fitting for the Outer Wilds. We're going to take a chill day where we just kind of go and explore and we do what I want to do. We don't really do any new discoveries. But today has a very special connotation to me. Today is the 7th of June 2024. And anyone who's been in the Discord, anyone who's been following me closely for a while will know the 7th of June 2023 is the day I lost my dad. So what I want to do today is take a moment to kind of commemorate that, um, to kind of find places in the game that I feel he would enjoy the most. And this is going to be emotional, and you're going to see me cry today. Good luck. Um, but what I want to do is try find some really pretty locations, find some characters that I feel kind of embody him, almost, and just kind of have a celebration. Um, I don't want it to be overly sad, obviously there's going to be a lot of sad kind of overtones But that's not the kind of person he was So while I might be crying every now and then this is going to be it's just emotion feeling emotion And that's okay. That's something that I feel like everyone needs to do every now and then so feel Emotion with me today if you're able anyway if not come back when you're in a better place to do so I don't want to force anyone through this Um but this one's for Dad, and I hope that we can do this proud. I do have a few ideas. Stick around to the end, because I do have a an idea of how I'm going to end this one. To really kind of do it justice, and it just kind of came to me in the past few minutes. Um, but yeah, w one of the things I do want to do, I want to go see e Eska today. Um... Because I was I was trying to think of places in the Outer Wilds where Dad would like to be, right? If I could imagine him anywhere, where would he be? Um, and I think he would quite enjoy Eska's little spot on the Atoll Rock. You know, I I feel like that little kind of campsite where it's just him humming and whistling to himself. Um, while he keeps checking up on everyone, it just kind of sounds very bad. Um, so we are going to go up there and see that, definitely. But in the meantime, I think we're just going to, we're going to take our time. I'm not in any rush to get there. I just want to kind of try and find places that are maybe quite pretty. I'm just going to go for a walk today. And kind of reminisce a little bit. Because there's a lot of things that I used to do with Dad that actually come up in this game. A lot of walking. Maybe not as walking as I would have liked to have done. Um, but, you know, if this has taught me anything, that doesn't really matter, you know. Um, we did do quite a lot of walking. We liked being outdoors quite a lot. He was, he was quite an outdoory person. And he liked his gardening. And that's one thing I've realised that... The Harthians don't really have a great deal of is gardens. I know they live in this beautiful, pristine crater, um, but they don't have like just little gardens. Like I, I, it doesn't appear to me that they eat much in the way of veg, unless you know the hunt. They did mention the hunter gatherers, so the gathering does imply gathering some kind of fruit or veg or nuts or seeds or something. Maybe it's a lot of, like, nuts and seeds, because there's so many trees. Maybe they, like, eat acorns or something like that. I don't know. I know they eat a lot of fish, which is a bit weird, because they evolved from fish. It's a bit like us eating monkeys exclusively. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Look at that. Now, this is a very kind of DIY, bodge together vibe. Dad was great at DIY bodges. Um, most of our house has been built or repaired with DIY bodges in mind. Um, 
It was what. Does anyone else have anyone in their life? Does anyone else's dad do this, or brothers, or mothers, or sisters? Um, where they can just make something out of anything. <laughs> it's just one of those uncanny abilities I've yet to learn. Like, just how everything's cobbled together. Um, we have a fence in our house that is made entirely of wood pallets. Like, you know, storage pallets that you put things on? Storage made out of that, but you couldn't tell. It looks like it's been made out of just normal wood. And it's just like little touches like that that are kind of... I don't know how he did it, because I can't do it. I'm terrible at woodwork. I can't... Every... I can measure something. And I will measure something. Two or three times. And every time I measure it wrong. Or I think I've got it right, then I cut it, and then I've cut it wrong. It's like, how the hell did I do that, Sturks? I, I just genuinely don't know. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the food again. Marshmallows. Whatever that is. I think that's something. Maybe the sap wine. Just a lot of fish and marshmallows. Lots of fish and marshmallows. I'm still not massively fond of marshmallows, and that's going to be a bit controversial. I don't hate them, but I'm not like, oh my god, I have to have a marshmallow. There we go. I'm still trying to find like the, the, the perfect. Ooh. Not that. That was that was a bit too crispy, perhaps. Um, one thing Dad liked. He liked ice cream, and I'm ashamed that the Hearthians don't have ice cream. Like. If he was a Harthian, he'd just kind of sit there, eating like magnums all day. And in fact, I think that's one of the last proper conversations I actually remember having, was about ice cream. Because he's one of those people where he shouldn't have been eating ice cream. Right, he was, he was uh, a rather old bloke in the end. And his uh, cholesterol was terrible. But he shouldn't have been eating ice creams, but he did. He did. He kept eating ice creams regardless. He loved them. Right, let's go see Eska. And then I'll just kind of see where the journey takes us today, I think. I don't think there's any kind of particular itinerary and or plans that I have. Other than this. Here we go. And I am definitely getting better at flying like look at that guys right put this on otherwise it'll be a very very short uh short loop yeah see this is this is what i'd imagine he's got some little flower planters which i hadn't even noticed before it's really cool lots of pines guys Smell the pines. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is where he would have liked to be. Wasn't a massive people person. Which is ironic, because he was fantastic with people. Like, massively, massively good with people. He was one of those people that I don't, th I don't think anyone disliked him. To my knowledge. And that's something I'm quite happy about. Something I'm quite proud about. Where's the shadows coming from? The sun is right there. What was... What was casting shadows? Or was it just a glitch? Must have just been a glitch. This is a proper shadow. There we go. Um... Yeah, fantastic with people. Been all over and met all sorts of different people. In fact, he's, he's, he's one of those people where you know when you hear stories about certain people and you think surely most of these are made up. Definitely one of those. Like he's met royalty. He's been in a padded cell with our current king. I can't remember what the story was, but he, my dad was a photographer, right? 
Um, and he used to work for like, newspapers, things like that. And then he did film photography, so, like actual film um, for for TV, for like news networks, things like that. And one time he had to go to some kind of asylum-esque place because it was being opened or something by one of the royals. Um, and he was in a padded cell getting some shots and whatever, and he turned around and just his majesty was there. Obviously at the time he wasn't his majesty the king. Um, I would have loved to have been a fly in the wall in that conversation. So my dad was from born and raised in Scotland. And then Nottingham, UK. So not exactly from glamorous backgrounds. Not exactly. I'm trying to think, where would... I'm trying to think of other pretty places. I feel like... I, I feel like I'm just kind of getting drawn back to the Timber Hearth. I don't feel like... Yeah, right. Let's go find some more places on the Timber Hearth. Oh, I'm not even in the seat yet. I've had a few people say something about the waters of Timber Hearth. So I feel like maybe let's go try and find some of the water because I've not seen a great deal other than maybe the rivers. I want to see if there's anywhere that we've particularly missed. I'd look at that. Now what's going on in this here crater? <gasps> okay, so the, there is a geyser there so I can get out of there is how I'm reading that. Otherwise, it's going to be a fun little journey. I'm going to take the spacesuit, just in case. I don't think we've been down here yet, guys, have we? Look at this. Hey, yo. That's new. Oh, is this a quantum grove? Oh, wow. Oh, there was a sign there a moment ago, but I can't find it now. Oh my god, this is cool. Are these all going to move when I turn around? Yep. <laughs> oh, I just saw the sign again. I want to read the sign. It's always dark across Old Bark in the ancient glades. The quiet shade. Is that the poem you guys were talking about? This is pretty. I've never been here before. That keeps moving too. <laughs> Everything's moving in here, cool. I can't believe we've never been here. Is there anything else to see? I, I can't remember seeing anything else interactable. Let's go have a look, let's follow this. Let's go on in a little adventure, shall we? I don't know why I think doing that is going to help me look. Oh my god. Look at this place. Oh, there's an actual tower. Oh, How have I not been here before? How have I missed this? This is beautiful. That's beautiful. There's so many places that I wish I could just kind of take a camera and, you know, take snapshots. And that's something that actually used to really annoy me as a kid, was Dad used to take pictures everywhere we used to go. Every holiday. It was, right guys, get ready, you're going to take a picture, and we'd be complaining. But now I look back and I can't help but thank him enough. Church research notes. Property of Church. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. I still want to get there. Still want to get there. Still want to find it. I need to find it. I need to find a way... God, this place is so pretty. Right, let's go for let's go for a wander back to the ship. Speak of the bloody devil, there it is. Hmm. We'll get there one day. I do want to try and land on it again. 
Just because I'm incredibly stubborn and I'm not convinced I didn't maybe just look away accidentally. So we are going to have to try that again. Also, sorry if there's not like a massive amount of commentary every now and then. I'm genuinely just enjoying being today, I think. It's weird because I didn't, and this is going to sound really stupid, I didn't really expect today to maybe affect me the way it has. Because I'm just cold as ice. Um, but it has, but not in, a, not in an inherently bad way. And I know there's a few people actually who will be watching this and you know who you are. We've, you know, we've had brief conversation about it before. Who were in very similar boats to me. You know, and they've been there. Um, and for anyone, anytime you feel like you're struggling or that your emotions are maybe taking hold, the worst thing you can do is try fight that. Just feel it. Feeling emotion is okay. It's not a sign of weakness. You know, I, I think most people who have played this game can hopefully understand that. And it's definitely something that I'm getting from the game. It's okay. That should just be the tagline. It's just out of worlds. It's okay. Um, I just look at this. There's so many thoughts and feelings I have, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all down on paper in one in one episode. In fact, I know I'm not. You know, there's going to be more like this at some point. They came here on a shuttle? Well, of course they came here on a shuttle. How else were they going to reach the planet? But what is it about the tree? Is there something special about the tree? I've not heard them mention the tree before. Mayhaps that is something, or mayhaps it is just a picture of them arriving on the hearth. Probably just a picture of them arriving on the hearth. I think sometimes I do read into things a little bit too much, and I get my hopes up. Ooh. Let's not go that way. That's definitely not good. Oh my god, there's so much. But why? <laughs> okay. I'm still trying to figure out what they meant by the waters of Timbaha because I have been to quite a lot of the places with water. Oh, I know where I still need to go, actually. I need to go... Um, there's like the, the well near where um, near where the ghost master is in the village there's a whole bunch of ghost matter um, and there's like a, a big well that I found going down and I really wanted to jump down there sometimes so I could maybe give that a go but I, I don't want to risk offing myself by accident hmm Let's try to get back up to the ship. So I don't know how much time we have left. I've completely lost track. I don't have any semblance of how long do we have. Which is ironic, you know. I guess that's true in in reality. Let us where was the outer rock? I just saw it. We've been there. There's smoke there. I don't want to get absolutely just smashed to pieces by the Atoll Rocks. That's happened to me a few times. Hmm. 
Oh. Where is the Atle Rock? I want you. There we go. The Atle Rock always looks so photogenic. And I don't know why. It just always does to me. Are we going to land in exactly the same place? We are. Oh my god. I'm just such a pro. There we go. Yeah, that's looking a little bit red. One thing for me that I feel all of you guys could maybe do with is a little bit of positivity. So... Where am I going with this? What am I, what am I saying? What are you doing, Sturt? One thing I feel like we need to remember is that no matter what happens in life, it's never acceptable to be cruel. It's never acceptable to be callous or cold. Now, it's going to happen. It is. You know, you're going to have off days. That's okay. But being purposefully cold, purposely cruel is not. And it never will be. You know, there's never an excuse for doing it on purpose. My dad went through hell and back. Um, he's he's seen all sorts of his world. He saw the Bosnian War firsthand because he was there as a journalist. He's taken a mattress pressing machine from Britain to Russia via the road in a jeep. And installed it in some backwater village somewhere. He's been to, you know, he's been to the continent of Africa. He's been everywhere that you can imagine. And he's met every person you can imagine. And not all of them are good. He's had hardship. He had loss. He lost his dad at quite an early age as well. He had a lot of financial problems, he had a lot of mental health problems, he had a lot of physical problems. But through it all, you would never know. He was kind and warm. Kind of like Esker, I suppose. I, like, I had this conversation earlier about where do I think Dad would be in the Outer Wilds. And I can't tell you why really, but I just thought of here, in that chair. Just completely oblivious to everything that's going on because he was an absolute idiot. <laughs> but genuinely caring, genuinely wanting people to be okay and checking on, yep, checking in on them. Um, I feel like the world could do with a lot more Dave. You know, that's something that I try to take forward. It's something that I feel like has helped me do this, do the YouTube stuff. Other than him teaching me all about photography and film and creativity but about hearts and souls and that's something to take forward I think always be kind no matter what because he could he could And at the end of all of it, I don't think I feel regret for anything. Um, that's something that I thought I would feel. And I'm sure people who have maybe been through this before, maybe maybe you've had similar experiences. I think everyone has different experiences, but for me, I don't really regret it. I just, you know, it's not like I wish I could do this. I wish I could have done that. There's things I wish he could see. But at the end, I think I do feel content, genuinely. There is just so much more to see. 